In this question, we're going to be working out how far this party boat has been traveling in the last eight seconds of its journey. So we're going to do that by using the velocity time graph and looking at the area underneath the line for the last eight seconds. So what I'm going to do is just draw that on. So if it ended at 20, we're going to take eight off that. And we're going to be looking at the journey from 12 seconds onwards. Okay, so this is the area that we need to work out. Now, the best way to do that is to divide this into some other shapes. Now I'm going to divide it into a big triangle that goes from 15 seconds onwards. So I've got this big triangle up here. I'm going to do a line across the top here and I'm going to change this other bit into a smaller triangle here and a rectangle there. Now to help me work out which is which, I'm going to call this area A, this area B and that area C. And also, so that I don't get confused with this, I'm just going to kind of rub that out so I know that I don't need to calculate anything over here. So to calculate the area of area A, well, because it's a rectangle, it's going to be equal to the base times the height is equal to 27. I'm just going to put down metres as well to remind me that this is a distance I'm calculating. Area B is a little bit more tricky. Uh, this is a triangle, so it's going to be half base times height. Now the base goes from the midpoint between 12 and 14, which is 13, up to 15, so that's equal to 2. And the height goes from 9 to 10, so that's 1. So half times 2 times 1, well that's just 1 times 1, so that's 1 metre. Similarly for C, again it's a triangle, so it's a half, the base, from 15 to 20, so that's 5, multiplied by the height, which is from 0 up to 10. So a half of 50 is the same as 25 metres. Now to work out the total area, that's just equal to A plus B plus C. And if we do 27 plus 1 plus 25, that gives the total distance equal to 53 metres. So as this boat was slowing, well, first of all, it was going at a, a constant velocity, then it accelerated and then it decelerated. During that time, over the last eight seconds, it travelled a total distance of 53 metres.